Today in this video I will show you how you can delete duplicate records one by one by using the duplicate finder app. Since this is a paid tool of the app you will need to activate the monthly charge of this app first. If you don't know how to activate its monthly charge then watch the previous chapter video of this course and if you want to know how to install it and want to use its free tool then you can watch the first video of this course but in this video I am going to tell you how you can easily delete duplicate SKU or duplicate titles or duplicate barcode products one by one ok so open Shopify admin section of your store and open the app duplicate finder app from here now click on sync button because the syncing process is required to use tools of this app and from this page start syncing you can see I have 1435 products let us wait until all the products get synced here so here you can see now 1435 products has been synced same number is in my store this message is also displayed here that all the same products have been synchronized now from left side menu click on duplicate finder link and then let us enter into duplicate title section and then enter into delete one by one section let us enter into here now here I can see that this app is showing me two same products with same title this the old house at Glenaren the same title is of two products let us search it in my store whether the app is giving me correct details or not if I am searching the same title here in my store then here I can see that there are two products in my store also so app is telling me correctly that there are two products with same title let us open both of these products separately one by one on different tabs so here if I am scrolling down the page and if I am checking the handle of first product then this is the handle of first product and handle of second product is like this there is a word copy at the start of the handle so let us check it on the app see on this app it is also showing me two products one without this copy word and another is with handle with copy word we can also see the status of these products from here so that we, we can decide which product we should delete or which not so if I am clicking on remove button then it is asking me to update some permissions basically this app has a read per permission at the start and uh, now you can activate the write permission of products also by clicking on update button here so after this the app will have both the rights read write and write write so now the app can delete your products from here itself you can delete the products from the app itself now because now you have given the permission to app so let us try to removing this product so it is saying it is removed let us check it on the Shopify admin so we have de deleted this one product copy of the old house at Grimman and with hand this handle let us refresh this page and check it whether it is deleted or not so here is it here it is you can see that the product has been deleted there is no product at this address now and if I am searching again the same title here 
in the admin and pasting the same title here to search it then here you can see it is now showing only one product because the app has removed the duplicate product so and this is removed now it is showing here removed also so basically we can delete one by one the duplicate records from here see this is the product which should be there if I am refreshing it then this product is still here it is not deleted but the other one has been deleted this product is still here let us close these tabs and uh, let us open this one product again to confirm it so if I am checking this product and let us hold down this page see this this is the same product which should remain there okay so now you know how to delete duplicate records of your store one by one in the next video i will show you how to use the tick and delete tool of this app so don't forget to press the bell icon and also don't forget to subscribe and like our channel i will now meet you in the next video till then bye bye and take care and best wishes for your online business